Exhale now. Super scrubbable True Test Easy Care Latex Flat Wall and Trim Finish. Perfect for both walls and woodwork. Sold only by True Value Hardware Stores. There's a soft, smooth, natural feeling waiting for your skin in Nivea Moisturizing Lotion. It absorbs so invisibly, so cleanly, even you might ask, Nivea or natural? Ecologizer, scientifically advanced system, removes tobacco smoke, odors, dust, pollen. Ecologizers, anything else is less. The Hamilton Beach 12-cup coffee maker makes it hot and keeps it hot. The hot coffee maker from Hamilton Beach with 70 years of quality. Light and crunchy granola snacks, toasted corn puffs crackling with granola, 100% natural. No additives, no preservatives. Light and crunchy from Nature's Valley. Feel yourself reaching for those new peppers form cookies with the fruit inside. In the headlines this noon, New Englanders are hit with a huge spring snowstorm. The highways are slick and state officials are urging people to stay at home. We'll have a live report on the storm from the WHDH Storm Desk and a complete weather forecast from meteorologist Bob Copeland. In other news, more British warships are steaming towards the Falkland Islands. In sports, the Celtics are on the road for a game with the Bucks. Good afternoon, I'm Jack Hines. Details coming up next on New Center 5 at midday. WCVB-TV Boston, Channel 5 and you. Now, Jack Hines, Ann McGrath, and meteorologist Bob Copeland. This is News Center 5. Good afternoon, Ann McGrath is at our Channel 5 WHDH Storm Center. The calendar may read April 6th, but Old Man Winter apparently has chosen to disregard the fact it is spring and has slipped in a fierce sneak punch snowstorm that is blitzing Boston and its suburbs today. It'll head out south of Nantucket tonight, and fortunately appears to be moving rapidly. We don't anticipate at this time that it'll slow down and turn into one of those two or three day nor'easters. At any rate, a big snowstorm with dangerous conditions this afternoon. We'll have a complete forecast coming up in about 10 to 15 minutes. Now back to Jack. As Bob mentioned, he'll be back later in the midday broadcast for more on the storm. Right now, Ann McGrath standing by at the WHDH Storm Center with these reports. Jack, this rare April blizzard hit the greater Boston area at one of the worst possible times at the height of the morning rush hour into the city. The snow fell rapidly, the temperature dropped sharply, and highways and secondary roads suddenly froze. The State Department of Public Works warned people to stay home, but many folks tried the trip anyway, not realizing how hazardous it would be or how long it would take. The MBTA reported numerous delays. Uh, the Riverside line this morning was backed up uh, with some delays reported as long as 20 minutes to an hour. DPW crews salted and sanded the roads, but high winds kept blowing the snow back onto some. That will continue to be a problem this afternoon and this evening, and right now the DPW is concerned about getting commuters out of the city safely this afternoon and this evening. Spokesman Bill Pisano is urging employers to uh, let their employees out early. He's anticipating major problems between 2 this afternoon and 7 tonight. Adding to the problems of slick roads, the fact that many people didn't expect another snowstorm and had packed away their snow tires for the spring that we thought we had. There have been several serious accidents and traffic tie-ups throughout the city this morning. The most severe, a 50-car pile-up on Route 495 in Marlboro. Fifteen people injured in that accident, none of them seriously. But the massive accident, which looked like a demolition derby, closed a five-mile section of 495 southbound between Route 290 and Chelmsford. Traffic in the area was tied up for several hours. But Route 495 has been reopened this noon in the Marlboro area. And in Haverhill, there was a 30-car accident on Route 495 northbound. No reports of serious injuries there. That section of the road also has been reopened this noon. Another accident occurred on the Mass Pike, tying up traffic for a couple of hours there. Luckily, no one was injured. Jorge Quiroga has a report. Drivers on the westbound lane of the Massachusetts Turnpike Extension say traffic was moving slowly. At 745, the accumulation of snow was slight, only an inch at best. Coming up to Newtonville, a small compact went out of control. Eleven cars quickly piled up behind it. Well, we were just all going along rather slowly, and one went into another, into another, and by the time we were through, there were eleven cars there. 
Now, where were the cars uh, going? Were they all on the slow lane? No, they were all over, in several lanes. We were in the slow lane. There were cars in the passing in the middle lane. It all happened so quickly that I really didn't feel anything. I was grateful that I wasn't injured. State police report four people suffered minor injuries and one a concussion from this 11-car pileup. They were taken to Newton Wellesley Hospital for treatment. Traffic, meanwhile, backed up well past the Newton Corner exit. It took tow trucks over an hour and a half to clear the road of debris, remove damaged vehicles, and get traffic on the westbound lanes moving again. From the Mass Turnpike in Newton, Jorge Quiroga, New Center 5. Now, throughout the morning, there have been uh, sections of roads that have closed and reopened. We just, there's no way we can keep up with all of those. The best advice is don't go out if you don't have to, unless it's really an emergency. The WHDH Channel 5 Storm Center computer has provided us with a list of cancellations and early closings from around the state. The list is much too long to read in its entirety. So if the schools in your town are not mentioned, uh, most likely those classes have already been canceled. The first list will include schools with afternoon and evening classes that have been called in early closing and cancellations. Repeating schools that are already closed will not be listed. Afternoon kindergarten classes you can assume are canceled everywhere. Here's a list of public schools. Mary Richardson will be keeping you posted with the latest weather advisories, what's happening on the roads, the highways with the MBTA. So stay with us. Jack? Okay, thank you, Ann. And State Treasurer Robert Crane's office reports that all phone lines for unclaimed money inquiries are down today because of the bad weather. Those lines will reopen tomorrow. Coming up on the midday, Yankee Gardner Eleanor Trowbridge is with us on Midday Extra. And next, Argentina and Britain send more forces to the Falkland Islands. That story and more when we come back.